Are you ready, kids? For the 25th anniversary? I can't hear you. For the 25th anniversary. Oh, who lives in a pineapple wonder to see for 25 years? It was, it's SpongeBob SquarePants, that's the answer. Hey guys, it's Gum here, and we are doing a photo collection video, and that is the SpongeBob SquarePants up 2024 update here, as you can see here. And yeah, I did one back. Uh, I did one back during the 20th anniversary on uh, back in 2019. <laughs> Jeez, I think I did this like f f my first one of these was uh, five years ago. <laughs> but here we are now for me doing. Being another one, so and I thought about start changing this up a little bit, having it in more like a U shape here, yeah, here well like an upside down one <laughs> that is this case. So I guess we'll, we'll go from the middle and we'll just walk our way out out here. So start off in the middle here with the first 100 episodes box set. This is the 2009 original print of it here, but. Mine's missing the slip cover that, because found it at Half Price Books in like 2018, and <clears throat> I couldn't, yeah, uh, just didn't bother getting a replacement for it. I mean, the only thing I, I mean that's technically not true because the one replacement I did get for this was I got the 2017 reprint for new discs, mainly because I didn't really care about the slip cover. Or even the slip box for that, uh, the, the glass box case it can come in. But anyway, it was just going into a sponge drive. It has the first five seasons. There are the episode lists on the back. Q and yeah, there are the disc. And as I mentioned before, this uh, if I open it too fast, that happens. The disc falls out. Comes out. And, hold on. Uh, let me just take that off there and. So you can see the back for this year it shows, <clears throat> yeah, the original air dates here. As you can see, I uh, wanted first day May 1st, 1999, and I think that was 25 years ago. Man, crazy how the time flies. <laughs> well, you know what Patrick says here, he, he didn't take out the garbage for a month and it had flies. <laughs> Speaking of which, here he is now for discs three and four. four. Yeah, <clears throat> season two starts with here and it goes on like on from there. <clears throat> so, the discs and I'm not gonna take out the back discs for each of them because that will just take too long. Just, uh, five and six with Gary and this has the the Shanghai with all alternate endings here. I think some people pick up C uh, DVD C stories cause for the alternate endings there, but <clears throat> the difference between that and this, uh, yeah, this is that this plays all of the endings at the end of Shanghai. Well, on Sea Stories, you can choose which ending you want, and it will play that that episode all the way through. Ooh, and yeah, it's like you you could choose SpongeBob, Patrick, or Squidward, and it will play the full episode, and it will end with that ending. And then you seven and eight with Squidward, and then yeah, and. Yeah, there are the discs. <clears throat> it's a little high before the how it's handled here because it's it just seems very convenient for me to having all three endings for Shanghai to play at the end. So that's why I don't ha haven't picked up Sea Stories, and I probably won't. It's nine and ten with Mr. Krabs. You know, it's actually funny because I actually did used to have a copy of Sea Stories, but yeah, I got rid of it because yeah, I didn't think I needed it, especially since you know. No, with the since I got the first one hundred episode sets here and here's eleven twelve with Sandy and is that some audio commentaries with that little square next to the there as you can see <clears throat> yeah yeah discs in there and the last disc case in our set is thirteen and fourteen with plankton. <laughs> I can't do a plankton impression, but yeah, uh, the disc fourteen has all of the special features. Here's there, as you can see, and <clears throat> yeah, 
there, there are some pretty good special features, especially the square root story of SpongeBob SquarePants, because that's just like a pretty good documentary for the 10th anniversary. And yeah, this collection contains the first five seasons of SpongeBob, and originally I was planning on picking up the. Oh my god, I can't get this back in. There we go. The next 100 episodes set, but. When I found out it just reuses the same content from 6 through 9, I decided, eh, I don't think I need it. The only difference is that between it is I would have save a little shelf space there, but not as good packaging. So, yeah. so I think it's even trade-off. Plus, I like the artwork better on these individual seasons better. Speaking of that, which will go to those next, the individual seasons. And for the first six seasons, I have them all in the older style packaging. And, yeah, which are these, like, box set styles, and it was season one of Spongebob, and I think the set's over 20 years old now, which is kind of crazy to think. <clears throat> yeah, it's the inside, so they don't that much, and yeah, it was just going with help, no, no, not help one, it's hall monitor, it was an audio commentary on Plankton, and it was the disc, and it comes with this little piece of paper that same as the front cover with and has a little note from even Hillenberg. Okay. Ready? Yeah, rest in peace to him. <laughs> Wish you would have lived to see the this for the twenty fifth anniversary of SpongeBob, let alone the twentieth. But oh well. Uh, oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Shame that you good gone because of AOS. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, it's disc two with fun on it. It's an audio commentary with chop karate choppers. I was just about almost about to say choppers, and it's interesting about this set one that set of season one that I bought. It came with for some reason. It came with two of these notes here. That was from Stephen Hillenburg. There's no difference between them. They were exactly the same, but I don't know why. Right. my theory is that perhaps the previous owner of this here had. Like, two copies of this, and he thought, like, eh, I don't think I need this piece of paper inside to put the second one in this, like, old set here or something. I don't know. That That's just a theory I have, but I have no idea who had this previously. And here's this Kree with Hooky on it, and it has a lot of special features on it, which is also the reason why I have the first five seasons individually, because here... Yeah, it's the desk, you know, and I'm honestly thinking about getting, like, another one of these sheet papers here, just putting here to have a complete set, <laughs> but I don't know if I will do that, and will I get the updated sets for the first six seasons? I don't know if I will or not, but if I will, then maybe what I'll do is I'll swap out the gray disc with the artwork discs, because, well, um, yeah, I mean, might as well keep the artwork discs, so, yeah, but... Anyway, yeah, now on to the second season, and then, and I have seen mostly copies of season one from the 2012 reissue with the, the original discs in them, um, and I've seen it once with season two here, but yeah, it's the second season box set, it comes with a slipcover box, and get three great artwork of references to pretty much like almost every episode of season two here. And with the top, bottom, and slide this out, and this one artwork goes through on the inside, and Mr. Krabs is missing his claw there. And I don't know if it, would you really count that as an error if it's on every release? Eh, it probably is still, still an error regardless of that, but oh well. That's something they just never bothered to change. And even, even still, they probably wouldn't have, because, yeah, it's a pretty old release, but anyway, this one with Wormy. Yeah. <clears throat> and, yeah, and here's the piece of paper that shows the full artwork from there, from what on the box there. Oh, and it's no note from Steven Hillenberg. Again, yeah, and also on the sides here, they show like the picture of on the window there. That's, that's pretty cool. And it was with Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3 on the front cover. 
It, and wait, is it free? Yeah, it is. There it is. There. And it was this free with the hash slinging slasher. And I'm still remembering back in my 2019 collection video, I didn't open this case for some reason because I guess I just went by so fast that I forgot, thought I opened it, but I didn't. And so that something, but yeah, at least I'm remembering again here, even though, yeah, I did redeem myself with my 2021 collection video of this. Next, we're going on to season three, and this thing is extremely reflective here and there. Yeah, but yeah, star a bit, and again, here's the top, and and the bottom, like a yeah, it's just slip cover, so pull that out, and you got just that same steel as season two here, except it's in a slimmer packaging style, and yeah, and just for the hell of it, and let me, yeah, that's what it looks like if you put that on backwards, eh? I could show what's like upside down, but eh, I don't want to wa waste too much time here. Yeah. I've got the one with Squilliam Returns. Uh, or it, yeah, it is Returns. I thought, thought that said returning for a second there, but no, it's Returns. It's disc 2 with Small Drop before BC before Comedy. And disc free with Plankton's Army. And it's interesting about the season sets here because see what that for season one it doesn't have help wanted on it. Instead they have it as a bonus feature for season three. Probably for like licensing issues from living in the sunlight. I think it's what that song's called that plays doing help wanted. So that's kind of odd, but you know you know, the first one hundred episode set has it in there, so it was that, and what was the other episode that was in here that was being, ah, here it is, yeah, Midlife Crustacean, and yeah, that episode's not on Paramount Plus, so, that, so, since you have this DVD release, since I have this DVD release here of it, and in the first 100 episodes, episodes, I have that episode, so, yeah, that's one of the more reasons to cap, have the season three set here, you know, because, well, you that episode can't be banned from you. You know, once you have the disc, but you know, it, no, oh well. I wouldn't really watch Midlife Crustacean for the panty raid part. I would watch it for the part. Well, well, Patrick's writing that too, and SpongeBob's like, Patrick, that's not a ride. <laughs> Get off of me! <laughs> but yeah, that's what I would. Why I would really watch that episode for? Not, not for the panty raid part. And anyway, next we're going on to the volume releases here, which are seasons four, five, and six. We got season four, volume one. Yeah, and then a slim case box right here. They, they could have honest, what they could have honestly done here was like what they could have done was like have the front artworks on the artworks on the front and back of the case and it being a regular size clear case and have the episode list on the inside. But they oh well. I got this one with good neighbors. Where's always it's a good neighbor and this driver's license here. Expired December fourteenth, two thousand ten. And geez, SpongeBob, you probably need to get that renewed, dude. But oh well, and yeah, oh, okay, it was good neighbor, not good neighbors, and it's just two of Krusty Towers, which is probably probably my favorite episode from season four. Oh, yeah, same disc as the one of that set. It's now there. Here we go. It was season four, volume two. Uh, uh, yeah, not much to say here. Except that, yeah, the 2012 sets did reuse the, put these in full on complete seasons, but yeah, that's from 
thing, New Leaf. It took me a second to remember that episode thing. And, but yeah, I'm just using to get these ones. I chose to get these ones because I like the artwork on them better. That's from Born to be Wild. And overall, I don't really mind the fact that they're in two vol- The seasons four, five, and six are in two volume sets. Because I mean like, that's fine with me. I'm fine with season sets being split in like two volumes. Three is pushing it. Four, I'm not like, eh, that's too much. Uh, it's good. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, next we'll go on to season five. And, yeah, it's out the bottom. And you could take out the dits. cute. And put in different artwork there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but yeah. It's nice how you can change the faces, but it doesn't look as good from this side. Here, right because you see the part where you open the case up. But, oh well. Anyway, there was, yeah, that's one. And the episode's all enlisted on the inside. But, yeah, at least they took advantage of the inside artwork a little bit more here. Showing the episode list on the inside. And, uh, there we go. <laughs> Always a little bit of pain getting that one in there because of how big the hole is. But yeah, it's manageable still. <laughs> now, on to season five, volume two. Which yeah, has the episode list on the back, but... No descriptions about each episode. So then, yeah, just like before, you can switch out the cases for something di for completely different to you. Here, window should I have that on frame? I didn't even wasn't looking. Let me just. But oh well, you get the idea. Um, anyway, yeah, just one that's from Picture Day, and that's from Who Bob What Pan. So, no, it's whatever happened to Spongebob. Uh, even though that's on disc two, not disc one here. Let's take that out so you can see the same render as Spongebob but on, on the disc here. This is from 20,000 Krabby Patties Under the Sea and Pest of the West. And, yeah, back uh, underneath the disc is the same as from the first set. And have a little advertisement for the other seasons that came up before this. Here and on the back is an advertisement. It's a note from Patchy the Pirate. Cause, yeah, seasons, yeah, from seasons one through three, I have notes from Stephen Hillenberg. Well, sets four through five, he'll have notes from Patchy the Pirate. Then, then quite chill that episode list there. Yeah, it is whatever happened to SpongeBob. Cause, and yeah, with that, that's. First five seasons down, and and that's it for the duplicates that I we I have in terms of the C's and set of SpongeBob because you know I have those in here and those in those two. <laughs> but now we're going to season six. This is volume one. But he here, here we are. Yeah, not much to say on this except because <laughs> yeah, but I was sold this. Uh, is on the back just like that that's up there and he goes that's from suction cup symphony and from crabby road yep so it's on the inside and disc two with crabby chronicle and slumber party i always go like the crabby chronicle i don't know why <laughs> maybe it's because people are stupid and just believing the the juicy stories that had yeah, uh, in them or something, but I don't know. <laughs> I just don't get a good enjoyment of that episode. <laughs> Next one to the last of the volume sets is season six, volume two. Even yeah, same as this one, except different vendors. SpongeBob and the colors are inverted. It's from the Krusty Crushers and shuffleboarding. And this one's from Overbooked and from Shellshocked. And 
yeah, if that, that's the last of the volume set sets that have the artwork on them. And now, you know, now we go for complete season sets in regular cases. Is and this is interesting. Here is two season gift set of season seven and eight. Here, which, yeah, maybe we got this so for the slip box that came in. Because, you know, since all the other season sets in the regular cases came with slip covers, I figured, oh, why the hell not? I'll get this just to have, like, say I have, these have slip covers on them. And, yeah, they did release, so they did this for, like, seasons one and two, four and five, three and four, five and six as well. Where they came, like, the slip cover thing with two sets in one. It would be the 2012 sets, and not sure if they would do the same for nine and ten and eleven and twelve. They probably will. But who knows when? So anyway, you're season seven, and but yeah, and get the episode list on the inside. <laughs> yeah, all the discs are gray, unfortunately. But oh well, it doesn't matter too much. The content on the disc that matters. Next is season eight. This is how all the 2012 sets would be more like here. With the, same, with the design here. Mainly for like the side and back row. But yeah. This is a little dirty on here. So I may have to clean that off at some point. Anyway yeah. So list on the inside and the discs. And that we go like a pretty... About a four year gap without a single, yeah, without a single season. Then you said until, until, yeah, we're going to, because, yeah, it took a while for them to release season nine, but yeah, four years, and here it is, the complete ninth season. Came, first one that came with a slipcover, and it is embossed all around, which is pretty great. Hey, gee. Kind of sad that uh, Paramount doesn't do embossing too much with their slip covers, especially with like their season sets. Cause, <clears throat> cause I mean, like when they do it, they do it pretty good, like and all all over the place. See you and yeah, it's the episode list on the back there, and yeah, if you know me, you know when I try to draw my own episode list on the inside here, but yeah, nah, too. I would like to redo this at some point, but. Again, in order for me to do that, I would have to, ooh, ooh, yeah, buy a new set of season nine. But, you know, and, you know, yeah, it's something I don't know if I'll really do or not. But I might just keep it, leave it that is, is healing. Another thing I could just do is to get some random pe piece of artwork here of some random release and just put it underneath the season nine one here, so I could just do, and I could just do that. But. I don't know, part of me just doesn't want to do that, really. <clears throat> but, yeah, here's season 10. Yeah, yeah, the, the shortest season of Spongebob, and only, like, yeah, 22 episodes, or I guess 11. <laughs> and, and the reason why is because it's due to production on Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water. That, that's why this season is so much shorter compared to the rest and yeah, just like with season 9, I wrote the episodes on the inside, which this one I'm much more proud of because, yeah, I didn't have to squish it in at all anymore. I had disc 1 on left and disc 2 on the right. Here. Yeah, I'm much more proud of this one here. Cause it was also easier since it's a pretty short season. <laughs> but, you know, thankfully, for me, I didn't have to do that much anymore. Uh, actually, I didn't have to do it at all anymore because with season 11, they brought that back. Again, yeah, let's see. Season 11. And it has Doodle Bob on it. Yeah, by me, yo. I couldn't resist doing that Doodle Bob line. <laughs> and there, but yeah, got the episode list on the inside. I think out of all of my, my out of the new. All of the modern Spongebob seasons. I think season 11 is probably my favorite out of all of them. Because there was a good chunk of episodes here that I really enjoyed. Like My Leg, like Mustard Mine, Shopping List. Some of those are like pretty good. 
were some of my favorites from the season. But yeah, yeah the three disc set this was, and yeah, so clearly they film outside to play catch up with releasing the season sets from 2019, starting with 2019 with season 10 and 2020 with season 11, just less than six months, I believe. And then beginning of 2021 with season 12 here. I remember I did have to get a new copy of this because my first copy, the disc came loose in the holder there. So I had to get a new cop. Yeah, I had to get a new set out of them. A uh, set of this at some point. And it was mainly just the first two discs because, yeah. And luckily, this new set that I got, I managed to have fix that there, so problem solved, but I mentioned this back in the 2021 collection video here, so no point in me saying it again, even though I already said it, <laughs> but yeah, but now we're going on to the newest season that came out of about at the, t at the tail end of 2023, and that's the complete 13th season, yeah, quite happy that this got announced here, and got it here and includes the title zone a spongebob universe special where here's the front cover and side and as you can see you have the newer nickelodeon logo which is a kind of a hybrid between the splat and the one they've been doing for about throughout the 2010s which is pretty good and here's the back back here and yet yeah, disc made in germany i wonder if that's actually true or not but i don't know you know, I use, yeah, it's like fours, it has a slipcover, and underneath is the, at least inside, and it goes back to being a four-disc set instead of a three-disc set with the episode all listed there, and originally this case came in like a one set that was like, kind of like one of those Amazon burn-off demands where you have like two discs on here stacked on top of each other a bit, uh, partly, and... And the other side was, did the same thing here. You know, so I got a new case to swap it out. Here you know, so that it doesn't do that. I, with better packaging. Yeah, that's, it. that's what I did here. And I noticed that they changed up the Spongebob logo slightly here. Like as you can see. This like little part here doesn't dip down as much. To make room to put the Nickelodeon logo in. So that's one difference in I feel like they made it a little bit bigger, and maybe it's just how they printed it on the on the set here, or on the disc. But yeah, and with that, that's all of the season sets of Spongebob. I know they have a season 14 airing right now, and I know they greenlit a season 15. So, if they release those seasons, I will pick them up. But who knows when they will be released. Probably won't be for a few years, but... Oh well, we're not quite done. We're, we don't have to worry too much about that because we do have two spin-offs of Spongebob and before we get to that we have a couple miscellaneous DVDs here which are first is Spongebob Pirate a mini movie and the Square of Shorts which this is just kind of a random DVD that has like the Pirate episode Help Wanted and Reef Blower but no tea at the tree dome unfortunately and and the mini movie is True for Square oh and and the main big reason why I bought this is because of the 42 shorts are in this. I know those are a good chunk of those are in the seasons 4 through 8. 8, but yeah. I just mainly got this to have them all on one disc here, even though I think they did make more because I know seasons 9 and 11 have some shorts in them. So I don't know if they'll make a, a part 2 to this. And this piece of paper came in my Friend or Foe DVD. And I decided to keep this and put it in here because you know, I just wanted to keep it. But yeah, the disc's pretty plain and gray there, but anyway, yeah, that, yeah, and funny thing, I've only watched this DVD once and I had it since 2018. Like, I feel like I should watch it again at some point. No, we didn't. Plus, it's been a while since I checked out those shorts and, and yeah, ne next is Spongebob Musical live on stage, which includes an extended... The exclusive extended sing along version. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Here and yeah, it also has a photo gallery in it. It's a special feature and 
this did get, get released on Blu-ray, but I'm not picking that up because eh, I'm don't not really big into musicals that much. This and Shrek the Musical are the only ones I've seen, really. Cause, I mean, this one's not terrible. I mean, I don't think any of the musicals are bad. I just, eh, I'm just not big on musicals, but I, I figured I'll just get this just to hold on to it. And plus, I'm satisfied having this on DVD and not a Blu-ray version. Plus, I don't know if the Blu-rays came with a slipcover or not, but if it did, then I just never noticed but before. But anyway, now we'll go on to some spin-offs of SpongeBob, which uh, start off with Camp Coil. This is season one, volume one. And the stickers here are that thing new to DVD I put inside the artwork here. Here, that's what I did for all of them here. And yeah, it was season one, volume one. The episode list on the back. Again, overall, the spinoff, it's okay, I guess. It's not terrible, not terrible, I mean, I did honestly come around to it a bit more when, when season one, volume two came out, which just so happens to be the next one we got here, because there were some episodes in here I did quite enjoy <laughs> watching this, here, and this is include, and yeah, seasons 13, this, and Patrick Star Show, season one, volume two, all have the title zone in them. Um, what it is is it uh, the title zone is it just takes random episodes from SpongeBob that, that crossed over with each other and combine them all into like one special. Even though yeah, seems a little weird to me how they did that, but oh well, it's still kind of cool nonetheless. And here's the second spinoff. It's just the Patrick Star Show, season one, volume one, and yeah. And, Kind of conflicted about this show because I like it. The I like the art, art style a bit more because it's more faithful to the original show. But I think the writing is a little bit on the weaker side compared. Well, Camp Cole, I think, think has the better, better a bit a bit of writing of the two. But oh, that's just me. I mean, I do like the new characters in this, like, like Squidina. No. Uh, uh, Patrick's grandfather, and, and, yeah, yeah, I do like the new characters, even though I don't like how they kind of replaced it, Patrick's actual parents here, I mean, Patrick did have a big sister in that one season seven episode, but, eh, I didn't really care too much for her, I mean, because, uh, like, Spongebob parents in the, in the I'm with Stupid episode from season two, I much like those much more, but too bad they couldn't feel in this, so they decided just to make a new character to see her here, but oh well, it is what it is. Yeah, you could just head it off to they eventually got plastic surgery to change it to be more accurate to look like, yeah, look like Patrick here to be pink and dress a little bit more like him. And so you could just head, yeah, I guess if you just head cannon that that off then yeah if you just head cannon they just did that that's in between the and uh at some point then i guess that kind of fills in the gap a bit so so next we'll go on to two miscellaneous dvds that i have here first one is actually we'll go for this one first first one is one as a compilation dvd at spongebob halloween in which yeah it has 10 episodes on this and I don't need this anymore. I have, uh, yeah, I don't need this at all because I have all the episodes in the sets here and I guess that there. But yeah, the only reason I got this DVD was because I just think it's kind of cool having like a what, Halloween, another Halloween DVD in my collection here. Here yeah, because I think I saw this at like a Goodwill for like $2 and I was like, sweet, I'll pick it up. Here and yeah. It's just a nice little DVD to have to watch around Halloween or so. Oh, but yeah, just for that reason around, I picked this up. And do I think I'll keep this in my collection forever? Not really. Oh, but for now I have. Uh, for now I have it. It's the disc and yeah, sheet of paper with so list on the back there and yeah. So who knows if you'll see this in like another collection video, video you know, of no, or not. <laughs> And I probably know what I mean another Spongebob one. one, but who knows, but only time will tell. And the other DVD I have there that, that was the Nitpicks Holiday, which this is just a, 
a compilation of random Nickelodeon shows. See you when SpongeBob, of course, is in this here. And this I picked up a few years ago, which is just to have like a little sample of some of these Nickelodeon shows that I don't care too much for. I mean, like, I do care for Fairly Odd Parents, saying maybe a little bit of Danny Phantom, and yeah. But all these other ones here, like, all grown up, Rugrats, uh, My Life as a Teenage Robot, and Shock Zone. I don't really care too much about those shows, I mean, I did watch some of them when I was uh, back when they were airing, like, I know I was seeing some for Rugrats, Danny Phantom, and My Life as a Teenage Robot back then, but. The other, ones, the other two here I haven't been really seeing too much, but it's still nice to have this like little sample DVD to see, just to you know, have a little sample of some of those shows that that should. I may not care, you know, do care enough to buy DVDs of those, but you know, it's nice to again, it's nice having them as a, a little sample. Well, but yeah, it can never hurt to have a little, have a little sample of a show you don't care for. I don't like or care for all that much. I mean, I don't hate any of these shows or anything, because I've watched this DVD a few times, and I don't hate them. I just don't care enough to, you know, oh, buy the, the DVDs of those. I was there, but, yeah. And, and last but not least, we have the Blu-rays to show off here, and in the SpongeBob free movie collection with the first movie, Sponge Out of Water, and Sponge on the Run. And then, yeah, I got this slipcover box here in the back when it first came out, and, and, however, I did do one big change to this here, make that, I guess, two big changes here, because, let me take this set at off, the heat box off here, and I kept my two-movie collection of the first two SpongeBob movies here, Sponge Out of, uh, out of Water and the first SpongeBob movie, because I liked how this, you know, saved shelf space here, here in the house. I liked how this turned out, this blue right here, pack here, so that's the main reason why I kept this uh, sand. So uh, I got rid of the two that came in this indiv individual set right here, and yeah, and kept that, but that set there, but and yeah, here was Sponge on the Run, and yeah, there was a Sandy Cheeks movie coming out, uh, at the time I'm recording this, who knows? Is it out by now by the time this video comes out? Maybe. But, well, who knows? I really don't know at this point. Yeah, there are the discs, and... Now, you're probably thinking, well, if I got rid of the first two movies individually, then what did I use to fill in the gap there? So that the release doesn't feel like flim flimsy like that. Well, well, that answer to that is this. It's a SpongeBob Christmas Blu-ray. I found this at Half Price Bucks back in like November or so, 2022, and I was like, no way, I'm picking that up. Because I had my eye on wanting to get this for a few years now, but I just kept forgetting about it. I was going to get it off eBay originally, but good thing I didn't because I found it at Half Price Books. I think it came brand new too, even though it didn't come with a digital code or anything, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting how the lo SpongeBob logo is, uh, and it's a SpongeBob Christmas logo switch, top to bottom on the both discs here. This also uses that new Galodian logo. This one doesn't. But yeah, and this Bluey does have some exclusive features on it, and it's plus blue, plus bonus Blu-ray episodes, which are the episodes on the first SpongeBob DVD, Nautical Nonsense, and Sponge Buddies. So that's kind of a cool special feature and I did watch the episodes and I don't think they're in Blu-ray quality or anything but they just took like the same DVD rip from that from you know that <laughs> from that DVD and put it onto the Blu-ray which is interesting but okay that's kind of cool on the last end of that we have uh, yeah we have that said we have Completed the SpongeBob SquarePants DVD collection as of and Blu-ray collection as of you know, 2024 here. You know, I don't know when I'll do another update of this here. It probably won't be for a few years, but 
Yeah, so it was definitely one good, one of the few things I had wanted to do to celebrate Spongebob's 25th anniversary. And if you all saw a little bit early, earlier, I did put out a special short or, or with, yeah, I don't want to spoil what it is yet. Because I haven't made it at the time I'm recording this, <laughs> but it will be out already. And of course the celebration of Spongebob's 25th anniversary won't be over yet because... I'll be doing next up. Uh, I'll be doing a let's play on SpongeBob the Cosmic Shake game that came out last year. So I'll be all looking forward to stick around to see that, and I'll see you all next time.